All right, uh, good morning and welcome back to our channel, Princess Seats. Once again, we bring you an updated content concerning the disbursement of UAAG grant. And uh, if you pay attention to this particular voice note, you'll understand that the process of disbursement is critically going on. And uh, we've been informed basically that uh, we are not to feed on this information because it's going to come to pass. Pay attention to... The comrade, pay attention to this important uh, uh, commentary coming from a comrade on this wise. Definitely, it's going to come good as has been expected. Expectation is in the air. And if we could see that uh, St. Rita Foundation is about to disburse today, uh, just uh, stay put. More news is coming uh, right, right uh, at the door for you. So pay attention to this particular voice note. It's important to know that UAG delivery is sacrosanct <laughs> and is going to be one of the best in history. Thank you. Um, we, by his grace, the process of disbursement is seriously ongoing. I just want to tell you, Nigerian subscribers, that your patient is a little bit needed. Just be patient a while and you will have this money. You need this money, I equally need it. It is obvious that we have endured so long. I think the problem we have at the moment is that there is a transfer of aggression. We have suffered in the hands of other grant handlers from time immemorial, beginning from Sam to whatever I mentioned them, Golden Bridge, Tepecon, Etiobad, Mama Supreme, and what have you mentioned them? Innovation, innovation, what name have we not had? So we have suffered, suffered so long, but be that as it may, this one is not the other, it's not the same thing like the other grant we have all committed our resources and we have suffered in the hands of those grant handlers. I want to tell us over and over again, as we have always been telling us, we've been treating it to us, that the process of this grant is ongoing and is almost getting to conclusion let's be patient a little let us be patient a little and we will have our money there is no agitation we put forth if you those of you who are students of history you remember our grand pressure group sometimes ago we have agitated for protests we have tweeted what have we not done the question is that every effort we have made in the time past, has it resulted to disbursement? The answer is no. Therefore, when you try your left hand or your right hand and it's not serving you well, wisdom demands that you switch over to your left hand. Therefore, Nigerian subscribers, I want to appeal to us that what we need now that can give us, take us to our promised land is just a little patient. When I say a little patient, I mean a little patient. We don't need to tell you tomorrow or Tuesday or Wednesday or Monday. Just a little patient. And you and I will laugh. As, he, the, as Mr. President has said, nobody has demanded a dime from our hand. Nobody has collected a dime from our hand. The government committee, the committee that is put in place, to ensure the process is done they are doing their best to make sure that this morning nigeria gets it so let's be patient with them they have not extorted us anybody who is telling you he has paid money to them as we said the other time the person is just lying to you so let's endure let's be patient we will get this money and we are almost there by his grace you may say that is the usual language in the grant community we say we are all, almost there we are not allowed to be giving you update to be telling you this is where we are this is this but let's just be patient and we'll have this money we want to appreciate your patience we appreciate your endurance we do all understand that things are not easy if i should tell you what i am presently going through all of us i don't need to be telling you stories all of us we know how the economy of nigeria is preaching us but let's just endure I believe God, I trust God Almighty, God who created you. He has a purpose, He has a reason for creating you. And I know 
that God will not allow you to die. You will be the one to spend this money. And you make great success with this money by His grace. You will not die. The Lord will preserve you. The Lord will preserve me. Nobody will reap your labor. All that you have labored for, another person will not come to come and reap it. Another person will not come. And all your next of kin will not take this money. You will be the one that will collect it. Let's be, endure a moment. And very soon, there's going to be a shout of joy in this nation. And all of us will rejoice and celebrate together. Thank you so very much. And God bless you all. Thank you, Pastor Felix, for the wonderful uh, address. Um, lastly, before I conclude this uh, uh, voice record, I want to sincerely uh, um, appreciate all the people that are the right uh, sense thinking people that are doing their best to stabilize the peace of the community. I want to also uh, appreciate those members, especially those ones that did not allow themselves to be swallowed on the, uh, with the ocean of hatred, the ocean of deceptive, the ocean of lies. I want to appreciate for you to be rational and right thinking before you act. I am not telling you to believe me, but believe on facts. Stop believing on stories. We have leveled and operated on stories for years, yet the story did not end us any result. So at any point, if I should tell you anything now, if you have your way, before you follow, ask of fact. And uh, I want to also advise you, whoever will tell you any story, get the facts so that at the end of the day we don't put ourselves on unnecessary pressure, we don't hate the wrong person and we don't uh, act unlawful uh, uh, take unlawful action so I want to um, appreciate the executive uh, members of Organ Project Group and some state chapters that are still loyal and uh, are firm and focus on this uh, very struggle, especially the river chapter I want to also appreciate you uh, River State Chapter, I want to appreciate you all for the wonderful work you are doing there. I want you to please uh, play the game according to the rules. All Gampelio Group are not known on extortion and uh, unlawful acts. You must represent us well. All the other state uh, ambassadors, please, you all must represent us. If anybody will do wrong, if anybody will be caught, on act of wrongdoing, it shouldn't be any of our member. If anybody will uh, be uh, causing any act of nuisance in the community, it must not be any of our member. Take the best of attitude, put on the best of behavior as we are expecting these sources. Indeed, he who laughs last, laughs best. And I want to affirm to you that stop hearing any rumor outside there that will put your blood on high side. Stop hearing rumor. Some people are giving dates on weekly basis. Please, when the time comes, all grand people will tell you the right time and you're not going to miss that time. Thank you and have a nice day. My name is Comrade Abdul, the Executive President of All Grand Project Group of Nigeria. Once again, I'm coming your way to address you after an extraordinary meeting by the stakeholders. Um, all Grand Pleasure Group of Nigeria want to remind the community certain steps or position that we have been maintaining from the beginning of this struggle. What is this position? Even before anything, we have been affirming and reaffirming to Nigeria that this money is there. There is money. There is money and the money is meant for Nigerians. And this money will be benefited by me and you. So at this point in time, I want to still uphold this assertion that there is money. The money is still intact. And at this point in time, I want to tell you that there are a lot of things going on. And a lot of you want us to be talking time to time, which may not be healthy to the success of this project. So you have to manage with us in whatever approach or way just for us to have successful ending. This money will be disbursed, certainly. The only thing I cannot tell you is the date and the time. And we can follow up the process, but it is not of my own or of anybody to tell you Monday or Tuesday. I think this has also been one of the reasons creating serious tension in grand community. The government has vital role playing in the process of this grant. The government has the sole responsibility 
to regulate the process of this grant. The government has the sole responsibility to um, coordinate all the stakeholders that will be benefited. And at this point in time, the government are playing or they are um, performing their responsibility. And we have no option to kill it following them up as they are uh, performing their duty. We cannot put them on pressure. And we are not going to allow or accept any pressure. This is the simple fact. Of course, all of us have started in wrong uh, way. We have started this grant as a result of our ignorance. We have started in a wrong way and a lot of things have has been done in the wrong way. People have taken advantage of our ignorance, which I keep on reaffirming. And I cannot fail to take responsibility of the role which we ourselves have played. So we will not stop apologizing for that. But now we cannot make a second mistake. So on this note, we keep on enlightening our people and subscribers of this grant that the only way we can contribute for the good of this money to come out is for us to be patient and prayerful as things are unfolding on daily basis. As I said it before, I'm repeating myself. We are the mercy of God Almighty and the government committee working out this money to get to us. So we don't have anything against them. As it is right now, I want to vividly tell Nigerians that irrespective of what has happened or what some people have done or dubious acts of some people in that community, I want to tell you, nobody has ever asked us to collect money for the cost of this grant or before you get this grant. I want to repeat myself. Nobody tell us to collect money. In fact, if there is anything that we are vehemently warned against is extortion on the cost of collecting data or whatever duty that we are being assigned to perform, we are vehemently warned against extortion. So, at this note, in as much I'm not perfect. Of course, some of you have assisted us. We cannot deny that. You have supported us in various ways. But on the note of luring or deceiving you to bring your money in a wrongful manner, this is what we will not take from anybody. On the side, because some people is producing debt on and on weekly basis just for you to bring your money and at the end of the day you don't see disbursement. Those are the things creating tension or healthy tension in grand community. And we want to put it to you. Anybody that you have given your money without you or you are not happy on the way the person collected the money from you you have the right to collect your money back and that will not deny you this grant yes i have to put it to you in a very clear terms if anybody deceives you if anybody lured you to commit financially and you are not happy about it and that is causing pain in on you you can get your money back from that person why still patient and waiting for this grant and you will get the grant Nobody will deny you for that. Even though it's me, if I should in any way find victim, I lured you or I deceive you to pay money to me and you are not happy, please kindly address me, approach me for your refund. Rather, causing any action that will jeopardize what we, all of us have labored for. Please, we have to advise you over and over because at this point we are, we have labored for long and we can't stand for any action that will jeopardize the success of this project. On this note, I want to handle this mic to my colleagues, Pastor Felix Amopito, to add his voice. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, my president. And uh, once again, I want to salute you, Nigerian subscribers of grants. Um, he has said it all. In order not to overflow the matter, 